Hi, I'm Iver. Welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I customize my Air Jordan with acrylic paint. What you need obviously you need a pair of white air jordans the design of this pair of shoes is actually inspired by the air jordan and your collaboration which is at the cause of a car <laughs> i love how the light gray gives a minimal yet very luxurious aesthetic and i'm also going after the light blue color at the sole bottom with a little bit of words on it Okay, I know you're gonna come at me saying that Oh, the Nike logo looks kinda weird Are those even real Jordans? Honey This is my first time painting on the shoes Of course I wouldn't want to paint it on the real Jordans Which cost like a thousand ringgit So I just bought like a replica of Jordans Which cost like 90 ringgit <laughs> I know, don't judge me Surprisingly, it's pretty comfortable And it also comes with a fake receipt As if you bought at the original price Like the fuck Now get your acrylic paints and your paintbrushes ready I got this four colors, blue, white black and grey clean your Jordans before you start painting and then use masking tape mm. if you start by painting the first colour you gotta cover the area that is not going to be painted by the first colour this is to avoid for example the grey colour to get to other areas that you don't want to be painted Now, color mixing is pretty subjective and it's up to you guys to decide how much portion of grey and white color you want to mix with. There is no exact measurement for the portion but I did two drops of grey color and I squeezed another drop of white color and I just blend it until I find the right color for me. If you're going more of a pastel color, just add more white. That's it. Yay, here's the most exciting part. You can start painting the first layer. And make sure your brush is not too thick with the paint, so just blend it out and even it as thin as possible. Once I'm done with the first layer, you still can see the obvious brush stroke. See? Bruh. Oh, thank god it was fucking masking tape. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> After our first coating on the layer, you gotta let it dry for about like 5 to 10 minutes. So it's lightly dry and then you can just start on putting the second layer. Paint the first layer and let it dry, and then the second layer. The reason why we're painting layer by layer is that we don't want the texture to look weird with obvious brushstrokes, so it takes time. So be patient. Oh no, here comes the hardest part, the annoying little Jordan that I'm trying so hard not to paint on it. Which I did it. Oh well. It is what it is. <sighs> and then I start painting the Nike logo with black. Stop shaking for one My hands keep shaking. <sighs> Why am I shaking? <sighs> and just bitches with anxiety could never. Until this. <gasps> I fucking touched the other side. You see that small little holes that are not completely black? You gotta tap your brushes in to fill up the gaps. You can also add on some colors on other parts, just be creative, make something so special that you can't find it in any of the stores. You can see how clumsy I am while painting, so putting on a masking tape is a must. Once you're satisfied with the color and the paint is completely dry, you can just take the tape oh, off. Oh shit! Look at that perfect line! To clean up some areas that you might have messed up, like this little Jordan here, you can use a permanent black marker pen and fill up the gap and make it more defined. And if you messed up some white parts of the shoes, you can use a white marker pen to kind of erase it. And finally, you can add on some personal touches like your name or whatever. I wanted my name to be on a Nike logo because I'm extra as hell. So instead of the word Dior, I replace it with my name at the bottom of my shoes by painting it Iver. Yay! Let's see if the paint is waterproof or not. Because we gotta get ready for the rainy days. Here you 
becomes oh shit it does not okay it's a test nothing is coming up okay it's pretty good that means you can wear these during your rainy days yay Okay, I know that this may not look as authentic as possible but it just feels good because this is your painting and you created this with your own name and your own color you can customize your own colors and all that I mean to me as long as the shoes are comfortable and it's done by me my own creation I don't really mind I don't really mind I don't really mind The best part is there's only one pair of shoes in this whole white world that has Ivor name in it Hey! So that's all I got for you guys. If you guys have any questions, just leave comments down below and I'll see you guys next time.